So I believe since those two are just stacked on top of one another, they both should burn. Ha ha. And now, just one quick scene transition. Transition? Transition. I want to see the umbrella. When do we get to the umbrella? <laughs> Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Do, do we get official umbrella branded umbrellas? <laughs> Dude, at freaking uh, uh, USJ, they had a Resident Evil, um, like, live experience, uh -huh. escape room type thing. And apparently, you could just buy umbrella branded umbrellas at, at the end of it. That's amazing. But they, uh, USJ has currently lost a license to Resident Evil, so they are unable to. Oh, shithead's still here. I'm sorry. Bitch ass zombie. Bitch ass zombie. Okay, so can I? Okay, unsure. It's locked. A helmet. This looks dire. Yeah. Oh, I unlocked it. Where's the umbrella dogs? <laughs> <laughs> Do not worry your little head, buddy. Are you gonna find the umbrella dogs? Oh, I'm I'm going back. <laughs> oh, this is the bad room. Yeah, that, that's that's the bad room. And I don't have any kerosene on me right now, but if I did, I would have showed you what setting a living zombie on fire would do. Don't do it. I unlocked it. Shoulder check. Leon does not, not care about, like, anything right now. He's, he's sitting at my side, and he's, like... Oh. His eyes are, like, slightly o awake. Well, fuck. What happened? Did okay, you get so, trapped? No, so remember a while back when I was like, oh, I don't need this right now. I need it right now. You need it right now. <laughs> I need it right this moment. Immediately. Immediately. I need the umbrella. <laughs> I want the umbrella. Where do you see the umbrella corp? When does that become a thing? John! <laughs> Don't you need to fight Whale and Yutani? <laughs> <laughs> I would love a Resident Evil. I would love a Resident Evil fucking aliens crossover <laughs> event. Where Umbrella Corp and Whale and Yutani just did a merger. Yeah. <laughs> Whale and Umbrella. Oh, Whale and Umbrella! Wesker Yutani. Oh my god! <laughs> That's stupid. The whole thing's stupid. This is awesome. But yeah, now I'm just imagining like xenomorphs but carrying the T virus. And <laughs> like that is just terrifying. Tinamorphs? Tinamorphs. Uh, no, because that makes me think that they're turning into someone named Tina. No, I, I thought they were teenage xenomorphs. <laughs> <laughs> teenage mutant ninja xenomorphs. <laughs> Oh god, that that artwork has to exist. And if it doesn't, I I know my plans for Sunday. Yes. Um. Now you're lost. Yes. Uh. Oh. Uh, you're not going to the basement yet. Yet. Okay, there's no door on that. There's no knob on the door. Emblem Emblem armor. armor. Particle effects. Particle effects. Okay, it's not that. Fuck. Typewriter. Umbrella. Uh, umbrella. Umbrella. <laughs> umbrella. Um, oh. Fuck. <laughs> I have forgotten so hard where this door is. Wait, is it? Okay, okay. No, I know where I'm going. Do it, do it, do it. I'm doing it! You were like, yeah, I can speed run this. No, I was I was like, hey, I pulled up the I pulled up the walkthrough so I could play this effectively and not stand around for three hours. Do you want me to pull up the walkthrough? Nah. Mm -hmm. I have a vague idea of what I am doing now. Do you want me I to pull up sad fan fiction? Oh my lord. She has been on a kick 
with Detroit Become Human sad fan fiction recently. Absolutely. It's new, so everybody's writing sad fan fiction about so it. this is what I needed. There you go. A dog whistle. Dog. <gasps> is it time? Yeah. A crumpled memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives there, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mud is always hanging around the second floor balcony. On the west side of the terrace. I just love that it's like, oh yeah, as far as I can tell, this dog just loves hanging out near the balcony. Yeah. Not on the balcony, just near it. This is when you, this is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're not the only person that can... I reckon you're the only person. Oh, you're the only person that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling. Which means only you can put this collar on him. That object that Spencer wants hidden is concealed inside. <clears throat> you're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that such an item you've had, you've always wanted to get a hold of? Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for both of us. John Tolman. <laughs> so, yeah, 90% of characters in Resident Evil are just mentioned via via these texts. Via Polaroid pictures that they took of the location and then wrote the note about it with specific directions. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to, uh... I'm just gonna switch to this for no good reason. Dog whistle, dog, dog whistle. whistle. Dog whistle. Umbrella dog. dog. Where's the dog umbrella? Where's the dog umbrella? I want my dog wearing tactical vests with umbrellas on them. Oh my god, can we make that happen? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So I don't know if the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I think the self-defense items do work on non-human enemies. Do you think Leon can cosplay as Chris Redfield? I would be very down to make Leon cosplay as Chris Redfield. But like Umbrella Corp Chris Redfield for no reason? Yes. Huh. So now that, now that you have brought it to my attention, I don't think I've ever seen a like fanfic or artwork or anything where it's like the dark resident evil timeline or just everybody works for umbrella huh i'm sure that exists it has to and they call it like umbrella au or yeah. whatever oh god this fandom in its heyday was way before au was a thing this was like alternate umbrella <laughs> yeah this, oh god there there was this one fanfic i read for years and it was called Oh, okay, I automatically healed myself from that, uh... Okay, so these are just the health dispensers. Nice. You so, just rub your face in it? Yeah, you just you just snort all that herb. Herb. Um, but yeah, back in back in the old DeviantArt days, you would, uh... You wouldn't call it AUs, you'd call it AOs for alternate origins. Ah. Uh. Fuck. Okay. When was the last time I saved? I don't know. Okay. A while ago, bit. You blew the dog whistle. There he is. Motherfucker! Let go! Let go! Let go! Let go! It's not your Dead shotgun. Puppy. Dead puppy. Not your shotgun. Oh, there's, there's two of them. Oh, Motherfucker! Oh, knife to the face. Oh, self defense. What about the other puppy? There we go. Oh, Jesus. Get it. <laughs> yes, I'll take the collar. Fuck the lot of you. Um, do you have to ignite the puppos? I do not. There, There is no level to puppo. Puppos are already at max level. Okay. Leon, you wouldn't so attack I'm, I'm them gonna... like that, would you? <laughs> but you yeah. Would. The, the, oh, yeah, he definitely would. So the dogs are dangerous because they have this... Super awkward hitbox, and they are very fast. They looked pretty fast. Okay, so I keep hitting that. Okay, right. so I'm fine. What other game have Jesus. you been playing on the PlayStation recently? Monster Hunter. 
Is that why you keep hitting that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you unlocked it. This card? Yes. So yeah, that, that's just the game's way of helping you clear up your inventory when you're about to grab something else. Nice. And now I'm back here. That's a nice candle. Oh. So, motherfucker. Okay, so we got this dog collar. Examine. Not a bad dog collar. Open the little bit. What's this? There's a switch. Will you press it? Get the antidote. I got a rupee. You got a rupee? A coin was hidden inside the collar. The coin has an armor on it. Ah, uh, yes. One of them. Oh, what? It changed into the shape of a key. What? Bam, 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 bam. What just happened? <laughs> Shaped like a key, but lacks the rigidity to be used as one. What? Are you going to make a mold of this? <laughs> oh, you have no idea how close you are to, to the truth in that. Okay, so... Oh, damn it. Okay, one second. I need to... Are you going to cast it in resin so that it's stronger? Oh, dude, you are so close to, to the truth. Okay, so... Leon. He's so tired. He is so tired of everyone's bullshit. Like, he is, like, sleeping. He does not care that we're talking and having a good old time. Good old Resident Evil time. Like, he is sitting... His his foot is literally touching me. <laughs> and, like, he's just completely out. Oh, no. Okay, so I'm going to say, because I have fucked this up... A four, billion times. A billion times. And... I honestly don't care to fuck it up again. But yeah, I believe this... Yeah, I believe I am about to enter Act 2 of the mansion. Act 2? So yeah, the the mansion has... Um, uh, you're activating the mansion Act 2. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Get it? Yeah. Get it! That's mm. Judge Harris. Judge um, But yeah, so there are basically world states in this mansion. And when you hit particular world states, things change, obviously. Do all of the zombies come back but leveled up? Mm-hmm. That's why you burn them. Because dealing with them when they're leveled up is a pain in the ass. Why don't you, uh, why don't you grab some, um, kerosene and, and let nature take its course? <laughs> Yes. So is it necessary to rotate the saves like that? No. I just like doing it. Because then it's like... Yeah, because I've encountered many times before where it's like... Oh, I have three handgun bullets total and one shotgun bullet total. I am I just went into a boss room. Aww. And I had to fight it with my knife. I'm so sorry. maybe maybe I should just do another one bites the dust and try this timeline again. Yeah. But, uh, scritchy arm. Scritchy arm. We got rid of Leon's fleas, right? Yes, we did. Okay. You're just scritchy. You're scritchy. He hasn't had fleas in months. Okay, so remember that corpse I was looking at that's like, wow, good thing that's not a danger. It's a danger. It is now a danger. It woke up. So I also hated the re-deads when I was younger. Yeah, so basically, these guys are basically re-deads, so... Do they scream? No, but they're awful, horrible monstrosities. I hate it when they'd scream and then jump on you. Yeah, that's... That was shit. all they did, but, like... Okay, so... Usually, your the, uh, the tapping thing that I was talking about earlier will avoid him, because he does, uh, he does that sound thing. Do it! But he is now triggered by... By me having the collar. And so he is awake. Run. <laughs> and they can't figure out doors. They cannot. They're, Good. They're, much like in Resident Evil 7, these these chuckleheads cannot figure out doors. There was so. an armor. Yeah, did you see that armor? How radical and spiky he was and how circular his shield was? Uh-huh. Wow, it looks like he's on a track. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, look, a shiny. Oh no, you're gonna have to jump. You're gonna have to jump? 
May whoever take this emblem find peace and death. Fuck. Well, <laughs> well, no death for you. 